everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little testing video. I am trying out the difference between two primers. One of them is £85 and the other one is £5. So there is an £80 difference between these two primers which I think is crazy. I will be doing more kind of testing videos on my channel in terms of makeup. I've recently done a testing collection foundation makeup, the new one, really really cheap, really good. I'll link that video down below if you want to go and watch it but I'm going to be doing kind of more like specific product testing videos. So today is kind of focused on this one in terms of is it 80 pounds better than this one sort of thing so that's what this video is it's going to be a half and half kind of demonstration showing you kind of first impressions of how they both apply how my foundation and concealer go on after it how it looks and mainly a wear test throughout the day so i'll be kind of letting you know throughout the day kind of a little like vlog style how my makeup is looking and lasting so just to kind of introduce you to both of these products this is the avant this is the avant pro perfecting collagen primer to chiclet so I'm not very good at pronouncing things, but there we go. It says, apply to clean, dry skin, wear alone or under foundation to create a smooth, even canvas. So it's there to kind of smooth out your skin. This is £85. This is its full size. I got this in my glossy box for June. If you want to go and watch the video where I unbox this, I will link it down below. It was a vlog that I did and it's kind of more towards the end of that vlog. But yeah, and basically they sent me this in that glossy box and... I've used it for about a week and I do actually quite like it but do I think it's worth £85? No, not one bit. Would I pay a tenner for this? No, not one bit. I would rather kind of spend my money on foundations than I would on a primer because I don't really know if it works. So this video is kind of going to be like a side by side comparison with the, both the primers, see which one works, see if they're both just as good, because often if you're comparing things side by side, you can see a difference. Whereas if I tried this primer all over my face one day, and then I tried this all over my face the next day, I might not be able to see that difference. So that's why I'm doing kind of side by side. This other cheaper, much cheaper primer is from Revolution. It is the Revolution Primer Ultra Face Base Primer and it's for 24 hour makeup protection. So I really quite like this one. It's a pore filling primer. But anyway, so rather than me kind of rambling on, I will link both of these down below in the description if you want to go and check either of them out. So yeah, I'll link them both down below for you to go and purchase if you would like. But other than that, let's crack on straight into the video. Okay, so first of all, I am now bare-faced. I would like to apologise for... What the heck? Sorry, my laptop was just saying something to me. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but first of all, I'm starting off with my bare face. Basically, I do have some redness around my face and a little bit of dry skin at the minute because... I don't know, it's summer and when summer hits for some reason my skin starts getting a little bit dry but you know, it's not too bad, there's worse out there. So I've got the two primers in front of me here, the £85 primer and the £5 primer. So I'm thinking, which side shall I do which? Let's look in the mirror and decide. I think I'm going to do the expensive primer this side and then the non-expensive one this side that's what i'm kind of thinking for no reason at all i'm just randomly picking so i'm gonna start off with the avant primer the expensive one so it says to take a pea-sized amount onto kind of the back of your hand and then put that on your face so to me that's a pea-sized amount oh hang on i've just realized it should be half a pea because it's half the face never mind we'll just apply a little bit more i tend to go quite sparingly with this anyway just because i don't want to you know waste it it's quite hard to prime half your nose but anyway so i'm just going to blend that in it's really, really easily blendable. Like obviously I've used this for, you know, a week and I do quite like it in terms of how quickly it blends in. And it doesn't feel like a silicone primer like the other one that I'm gonna be using. It kind of feels, I don't know, like a tacky one. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm on about to be honest with you, but it, wow. 
can you hear the amount of times that that card just beeped? Wow, it's not one that fills in your pores, it's kind of one that makes your face tacky so that makeup sticks onto it because my face kind of feels a bit tacky. Um, but yeah, this is it with the primer on. And now I'm going to go and put the £5 Revolution at primer onto the other side of my face. I've used this a hell of a lot more in the past, so I do know this one quite well. This is more of a silicone-y kind of pore-filling primer. It is a good primer because otherwise I wouldn't have used it. So I'm going to pop it just kind of like, obviously half my face. But yeah, it's quite difficult to just get half your face especially with a primer. So instantly I can feel the difference in terms of the type of um, primer that it is. It definitely fills in your pores. Like you can literally see um, your pores being filled in and it makes your face look a lot smoother and application on top a lot smoother. And my face does feel, on this side it feels smooth, silky, soft. On this side it feels tacky. I personally do prefer a tackier primer because I just prefer the way that foundation applies on top of it. But first impressions on both of them. This side feels more tacky. It feels like the primer is kind of set in place. Whereas on this side it feels a little bit more greasy, a little bit more oily. It does actually feel quite greasy and I've noticed that in the past when I've used this one before. But anyway, let's see how it goes on for a primer. Maybe this will not give you so much oily skin because obviously I've got oily skin and I think that this um, Revolution primer might kind of make my skin a little bit oilier than the Avant primer. But you know, Still don't think it's worth the money, but we'll we'll get to that at the end of the video. By the way, I also have a little bit of lip balm on. I have the Bye Bye Plumper Lip Balm, and I just put a little bit of that on because I always do. So I'm going to show you putting my foundation on and also my concealer and how they apply on both sides, kind of see what they look like up close, and then I'll do kind of check-ins throughout the day, seeing how long my makeup's lasting, etc. So the foundation that I'm going to be using today is one that I've talked about quite a lot on my channel. It's the Collection Lasting Perfection flawless weightless coverage foundation it says it's 16 hour wear now i did a whole video on this i will link it down below in the description if you want to go and check it out i did a full day wear test and my first impressions i actually like it a lot more now than i did when i filmed that video it's actually one of my favorite foundations that i've tried and it's only £3.99 so i would recommend giving this a go so because it's too dark for me it is in the shade six cool vanilla what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it with some lightning drops. I've just remembered I've got to do half and half of my face. Uh, my lightning drops are just from Revolution. Revolution Pro um, Foundation Mixer Lightning Drops. And I just pop a little bit of that on there. I also find that when you mix these two together, it kind of makes the foundation more melted. And therefore it goes on your face a lot nicer. I don't know, maybe I'm just making that up, but yeah. Okay, so I'm now going to pop this around my face, starting on this side. And take that under my chin to blend it down, just so you don't have that kind of like harsh line. And then I'm going to take my beauty sponge, it's a Real Techniques beauty sponge. It's got kind of mascara on it because I put it in my bag and yeah, um, accidentally got all my mascara on this, so it's... it's a, it's not dirty, don't worry, or mouldy or whatever. So I'm now going to blend that in on this side. So I'm going to be doing the Avant Primer side, which is this side. And I'm going to be blending that in with my sponge. It's wet, by the way. So I'm just going to start off. I'm using a mirror in front of me, by the way, if you're wondering. Just kind of lightly tapping that in. It's really weird just doing kind of half my face rather than kind of, I don't know. It's just weird, okay? <laughs> Blend it up into my hairline. Oops, I've got some on my headband. Never mind. Got to blend it into your hairline so it doesn't look kind of false. Really blend it in over the eye. Okay, that's looking nice. Coverage is nice, because primers can affect the coverage that your foundation gives. Um, it's not looking too oily or greasy so far. I like how it applied. Um, 
yeah you can still see my pores but yeah it's looking nice so I'm gonna do the other side and compare sorry if I look or pull really weird faces it's just kind of hard so again it's applied nicely I can see a difference with the sides right now comparing side by side I can see a massive difference um, which I'll talk about in a second but in terms of application of the foundation both are very just the same because I know that some primers can actually make applying foundation on top a lot easier they're both very similar okay so I don't know if I can get this across and I'm actually shocked at this because I didn't expect there to be kind of too much difference between the sides what I'm seeing is that on this side with the Avant primer because it's more of kind of like a tacky sticky primer it is actually still showing through my pores it probably is a primer that's there to make sure that your um, foundation and everything like that sticks to your face and stays on throughout the day whereas on this side it's a little bit more greasy the revolution ones <coughs> the revolution one is a little bit more greasy but it's actually filled in my pores and therefore you cannot see my pores on this side you can see my pores on this side around here especially but on this side you can't so it kind of makes your makeup look um, a little bit kind of smoother and more flawless so I'll draw you in a little bit closer and show you what I mean I'm not too sure if you are gonna kind of understand what I'm on about but this side you can see my pores kind of like that a lot more than on this side it's really hard to show I do have two really big pores there but that's just always been like that um, but yeah on this side you can see them more so I'm gonna apply some concealer onto my face blend that in and then I'll do the check-ins later on so the concealer that I'm using is actually one that I've recently bought never tried it before it's the makeup obsession mega conceal longwear concealer with caffeine very interesting so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take these and put it in the areas of my face that I would like to highlight so for example under my eyes this is actually a really nice coverage um, concealer by the way um, under my eyes, on my nose, and on my chin area and stuff. Wow, I do look very strange right now. Um, yeah, on my chin, forehead, and then blend that in. I do this because it adds more coverage, but it also highlights my face, so I kind of like it. So I'm just going to blend this in, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've now done my concealer. I might be looking a little bit scary to you, but you know, that's life. I'm gonna finish off doing my face in just a second and then do another check-in. But basically, so far, my impressions of it are, I'm trying to look at it, um, both sides look very similar at the minute. Now I've concealed, I would say that both sides almost look identical. First impressions, what am I thinking? Well, the Avant Primer side, I do prefer it when I'm applying the product because it's more tacky and that's the kind of primer that I like. It feels more matte on my skin as well and it doesn't feel greasy. Whereas the one from Revolution does feel a little bit greasy and although it fills my pores in and makes my skin look more flawless, at the end of the day the lasting power is probably not going to be the best and also it does still feel greasy now. This side does feel a lot better whereas this side does feel a little bit oily already. So I think so far that's my first impressions but overall this one is still a really good primer so far. Obviously I have used it you know for a, a few months so I do know it very well um, but yeah so far not much difference price wise because there's an 80 pound difference. I don't think on my face there's an 80 pound difference. But anyway, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then I will get back to you with how my makeup's looking after I put everything on. Okay, so I have now finished and done my makeup. If you are wondering what palette I used for my eyeshadow, I used this one here, which is from Revolution, the Reloaded Passion for Colour palette it looks like this i'm actually going to do quite a few tutorials using this palette because it is really really good it's got some great shades in there and yeah did this whole look using that palette i'm very happy with it in terms of the primers both sides are looking pretty similar i would say that this side still 
is showing more pores than this side having done all of my makeup everything looks kind of very very similar this side of my face does actually look a bit darker than this side and although my studio lights are kind of making that look you know like it does it does actually look like that in real life as well so i don't really understand that like why would this primer make it look lighter and this primer not i don't really understand that but so far so good i think the real test today is going to be kind of a wear test so how long is my makeup going to last for on each side will this make my makeup look better for a longer period of time than this side we will have to see so i will do some check-ins throughout the day and yeah see you then hello there um i forgot to do a little check-in after lunch but basically i had my lunch i actually had my lunch at like two o'clock because i was too busy filming um and then I had a nap and I accidentally slept on this side. So that's kind of got the results of this video slightly biased. Is that the word? I had a nap on this side, so this mm. side's not going to be bad. You best go and have a nap on the other side then. This is the, um, this is the side with the expensive primer. And this is the side with the normal primer. You can see here, that's not where I slept on. So let's look at these parts. You're quite shiny. I'm very shiny. Personally, I think I'm equally as shiny on both sides. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, no makeup. Bro. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I'm equally as shiny on both sides. I don't think there's any difference. I'm not going to lie to you. This hasn't really stopped oil. I'm not going to lie. I don't think it's that good, buttholes. Okay, so this is going to be the final check-in because I feel like my makeup has reached a stage of pure concern. Um, I haven't powdered or anything today because I wanted to see how the primer would do. Why the heck is it making my face go pink? Hey. It, sometimes my camera does that. Like, it makes me look really pink. There we go. Anyway, so basically, we'll just let the camera do what it wants to do. Most of my makeup has actually rubbed off kind of in the middle. I did blow my nose once. Um, obviously, like I said, I had a nap on this side. I actually personally think that the Revolution Primer side, so the cheaper side, was a little bit oilier than this side, the more expensive one, but only a little bit oilier. Um, I'm going to conclude this video very quickly. I don't really think there's too much to discuss because I haven't noticed too much difference between both sides of my face. I do prefer the Avant Primer because it feels nicer when I'm applying it and it feels like more of my kind of thing. It's tacky. It makes my makeup feel like it's sticking on and I like applying foundation over the top of it. It doesn't feel greasy. But in terms of lasting power and things like that, they're pretty much the same. My skin was still really oily towards the end of the day. And my makeup still comes off if I, you know, touch my face. So it hasn't really made, you know, lasting power anything magnificent. The Revolution one is a little bit greasy. I have obviously used that, you know, for months and months. And I like the fact that it fills in my pores. And, you know, you can see your pores a lot less than the Avant one because it is a pore filling primer and makes your skin look more flawless but then it also does make your skin look and feel more greasy my skin has felt a lot more greasy this side and it has been slightly more oily but considering this side is five pounds and this side is 85 pounds and yes i know this does look worse but it's only because i had a nap remember and it's wiped some of my makeup off but um considering there's an 80 pound difference between them there is not an 80 pound difference in terms of is it good or not sort of thing I would say this is only slightly better than this side um, in terms of um, the primers. And don't go and buy the product. Don't waste your money unless you have money to waste. I, like I said, I'm you know, going to link them both down below if you want to go and have a look. Um, if you've got any of the two primers, then let me know your experiences with both. But I'm going to conclude this video by saying that it isn't worth the money to go for the more expensive one. Find an alternative um a really good primer i would say is one from elf it's the hydrating face primer it's like in a blue kind of packaging it's really really nice so i would say go for one of those if you want a good quality one because i know sometimes you know you don't want to go really 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 cheap but yeah conclusion ended so that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I'm going to be doing some more videos like this in the future. I think overall we've gathered that it isn't worth the money. Let's be real. And 
you can go for kind of alternatives. Although this one may be slightly better, it's still not worth the money, the extra 80 pounds that you're paying for it. Um, but if you've got 85 pounds to waste, then why not? So there we go. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more content on my channel. Remember to check the description box because I will link both of those primers down below and any other videos that I've kind of mentioned in this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.